These look nothing like dogs. Well, you offer your patronage to the people too, yeah? Let's see, perhaps you can begin with Marn Arsie. They are one of the most foremost artisans, once held in high esteem by the Knights of Burr. Mm. With the nice god, mm. however, I'm gonna have to do uh, some chores. Yes, I had no opportunity. Do some more yeah, chores after doing the fade chores. They will be overjoyed for your patronage. Mm. Oh, because we're telling them to fetch? That's why you think they're dogs? Oh, and they're man's best friend? Okay, all right. Fair enough. <laughs> That's clever. But they don't look like dogs. The spores. They look like rejected dark crystal Muppets. They do. They're cute. Which is a compliment. Yeah. I like the design. Yeah, they look uh, real. You know, they have that, that crafted quality of Jim Henson Marine. <laughs> is this the same guy or is this a different guy? Uh, this is, uh, <laughs> just generalizing all these little well, weirdos. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, my God. The, the one also had shoulder bowls. No, that was uh, weird. 1,182. Yeah. 1,183. 1,184. Wait. Did I already count that leaf? Ooh, uh, who? What? Where? Wait. You're a. a mortal? Huzzah! Huzzah. Well met. Yes, very well met indeed. Have you old and tired arms and armor that are threatening to fall apart at critical junctures in battle? Am I getting infomercial? Yeah. Well, they are. Can you not haul all these limes? If you answered yes, you've come to the right new Mao. I'll restore your equipment to pristine condition for payment of a pair of moss fungus legs. Moss fungi roam just outside the cave. Please, please, please. Give their legs and your patronage to me. Oh my word! Oh, is is this it? Is this why y'all are being all excited because like they're currently, and then when they get all like light something or other, they turn into these things? Is that why y'all are so? Is that why everyone's so excited about stuff? I don't know. All right, what, what, what are we doing? Where am I going? I, oh, we got to exit. We're gonna go do stuff for got, people. Yep, I'm already running out there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I just remembered where I got the voice from. This is South Park, forget about the Gilgamex. <laughs> forget about the Gilgamex. Forget about the Gilgamex. Rubble, rubble, rubble. <laughs> if we could just forget about the Gilgamex for a minute. Forget about the Gilgamex. <laughs> this is why we're friends. Yeah. Took me a little bit. <laughs> Some people are like super mad. And I'm like, I don't care. He's making me laugh. <laughs> <gasps> ah, ah, you will return, and with the most, the, 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 the moss, the moss fungus legs, I hope. They are tools of my trade, lest you wonder. Used to polish metal and leather alike to a lustrous sheen. Now that I have work again, I must replenish my stores. Uh, I, huh? have, I have two. Oh. So I'm giving you two. Yeah. I don't I, know why we yeah. have an option. Hmm, weird. Bizarre. Oh, is it like customary to? Oh, okay, never mind. Two moss fungus legs as befits the work. Ah, to have neither more nor less expected of us than what we can provide. There is no greater joy. Ah, uh, okay, cool. You see, for there to be honor in a task, we must receive precisely what it is worth. Too little means you belittle our ability. Too much means you question our integrity. Oh, that's cute. I'm putting that in the mm. D&D book. That's cute. I like that idea. <laughs> You've given me fitting payment, so my services are at your disposal. I shall begin by inspecting your equipment. Yeah, that's a You're great... You're extremely under eye idea. level. Dear God, what's going on here? Hmm, I see, I see. Though I must ask for a small fee for the materials, I'm pleased to say that all your arms and armor may be restored. If you mean to change them in the near future, however, there's no need to hurry. My first repair is complimentary. Here's the coin which you may pay me with when you desire to have work done. Many thanks for your patronage. Oh, that's cute too. So yeah, he's got to get paid, but he's giving him how much to pay. Yeah, that's cute. 
Oh, and if you mean to offer your patronage to another, may I suggest Izgioff yonder? Oh, boy. <laughs> Judging from your equipment, tis plain you're no stranger to battle. I believe Yoskioff will have something to offer you. Kyle will love it, and Garrett will click ahead. If I was playing alone, I wouldn't read any of this. As my patron, I ask that you remove the noxious mushrooms that grow in our cave. Flame spores, they're called. We would tend to them with magic, except they leave behind a harmful ash. Would no choice but to pluck them one at a time. Now, you will be curious as to what I have to... Garrett, where are you going? Garrett? Uh, Tuna, come back here. Totally paying attention to your extremely well written I am lore. a professor yep, of wares oh, and yeah, aid you I in your the travels. People know I'm all about in it. In exchange for a British payment, I will give you my I'm choicest items. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is totally my shit. Can't wait to make a video about this. Can't totally wait. not going to suggest that we skip it entirely. <laughs> you know, it's just gameplay. You know, a little bit of gameplay. <laughs> A little bit of gameplay never hurt nobody. Different strokes for different folks. Yeah, I mean, you know. It... You've already removed the flame spores. How very quick of you. Oh, but did you perchance search by Western Entrance as well? I am told that more have cropped up in that area. <laughs> he wants to think you're one. Okay. Never seen a dachshund. These don't look anything like a dachshund. What are you talking about? What? Doc? <laughs> I mean, if you have gauged, uh, like... If you gauged like a wiener dog's ears, but then you gave it the like sand then in you its face, beat its face in yeah. with a shovel. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we're just getting trolled now. <laughs> I think so. Get it. Mm, sashimi, thanks for being with us for six months. Said, welcome to Final Fantasy XIV. Help us with our chores. Yeah. It's the zone is, that's how the zone is feeling, and I'm like, you're not. We're in a war. We're busy. Sure. No, I it. it I mean, honestly, it, it's disingenuous to call this gameplay, you know, fetching, like, engaging. But in the overall picture of things, like Frodo walking around on mountains a lot, I appreciate because it's part of the journey. But, mm. yeah, it, it, it's fair. It's disingenuous to accuse someone of disliking a part of a game because it's a fetch quest. Like, <laughs> that's just... Yeah, it, it's about I've never gotten to, I'm, I Honestly, I, I, I get very little hate when I say something is not my, my cup of tea. Yeah. Uh, a surprising amount of our community is, like, very accepting of it. I think so. Which I dig. I dig. Every once in a while, you get, you get the you get the diehard lore folk who are like, how dare you not respect oh. every every word committed to text? It, it's honesty. Yeah. I think there's also, like, an element of, you know, like, then you just be tracking your lies. Like, imagine you said this was great, and then you get asked, you know, two months from now, and, like, you, and then you're a liar. Like, I don't want to lie. I'm going to tell the truth about my opinions, and that's what we're here to do. It's our stream. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah. It's all good. Anyway, Minfilia gasps. I, I wasn't spying on you or anything. I've just finished my task, and I, I should go and report back. Okay. We taught you. Doing what? I, I don't like know. Like doing something know. that Thancred not to say? Like, she's her own person. She's she's a person, Thancred. Being a peeping scion. Oh, uh, I love Gavgano just in chat saying, uh, Gareth slowly being gaslit about animals is making this stream amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how I feel right now. Ah, you've returned. Have you dealt with the flame spores by the western entrance as well? But what of those at the eastern entrance? Excellent. No more poison spores irritating our noses. For a while, at least. Oh dear, I believe I'm getting sentimental. Having a patron again reminds me of the old days. Bear, every day, I would carry my wares to the castle and offer in exchange for men's patronage. Back then, the castle wasn't called th those words. The Vobertit, Vobertis, Vobertitis built it, <laughs> and they named it. Oh, Jesus. It's it, it, okay. Gruny Lynch. I'm, I'm, I'm apologizing for clicking ahead. <laughs> it was the last bastion in the struggle against Sin Eaters, And now they're gone, all of them. Nobles and knights and common folk alike. Robert <laughs> But enough reminiscing. I must give you what you've earned. 
And if you desire anything else I possess, I would glad offer them to you. For a fitting price, of course. So. Yeah, that's... Uh, okay, okay, I see the dog thing, right? Like, the wanting a, wanting a patron and all that. It reminds me a lot of Animorphs, honestly. The robots from Animorphs. Oh, my God. That's for all five of you out there who read Animorphs that deep, like book I, 20 or whatever. I, did, I could not get into it. I thought Animorphs was so lame. Animorphs was great. I, I, I didn't think most things were lame as a kid. I thought Animorphs was like the lamest thing ever. Now we'll be offering a patron did not, else. Did not land for me. I was a Goosebumps kid. If so, consider Wade Lad. <laughs> the Wide Lad. Go see Wide Lad. Garrett is lame. Hey, listen, you can call me lame. Uh, they were, I mean, the the Andros, what were they? The, the horsemen, they were lame. There was a lot of lame things. But don't you Andros dare. Andros from Star Fox? Yeah, they were called something. Uh, the the aliens that came down and gave them the Animorph powers. Um, But don't you. It's just, it's just like, yo, what if Transformers weren't cool? It, oh, you you dare spit on Tobias's. <laughs> I, how could you, Garrett? Maybe <laughs> under the weather of late, any chance to perform an honorable task would cheer them up. Spit in Tobias' face. <laughs> like DJ Carter Jazz says, jokes on you, the dogs make you fetch. <laughs> That's a good joke. That's a good joke. What? You, you would be my patron. But I don't really want to, they're I making me. For you. The lawless ones took my invisible link, and without it, I can't make my arcane wares. Who are the lawless ones? They're new more like us, except they've turned their backs on our values. Curs without honor they are. They refuse to work, instead spending all their time cavorting and making a nuisance of themselves. I, uh, it was when I was outside for a walk that walkies, they go for walkies, uh, they set upon me and <laughs> robbed me of my possessions. They concluded... I was Stop giving you in the chat, Kyle. Stop I'm, it. I'm not actually. I'm kind of digging it. Like I'm seeing it. I was too weak. Only because the Animorphs reference, though. That's the only reason I'm getting into it. Uh, I was too weak to resist them. But you, mortal, you look quite strong. Do you think you could take my ink back to those villains? Or back from those villains? If you do this, I will consider you my patron. And by the way, for your service, I will make you something very, very special. Let me know when it's time to talk to Midphilia. Midphilia's here. Go for it. Okay. Excuse me, Tuna Val, but I couldn't help overhearing. If you mean to undertake this task, will you let me accompany you? I would learn from you and help in what little way I can. Oh, damn. Oh, jeez. That's an aggressive second option. Taking the thing crit option there. Thank you so much. Assuming Kyle clicked the friendly option. I did, I did. Because otherwise that'd be well, a pretty hilarious She reaction. literally just could have like rogued our dungeon and we're going to disrespect her. Like she just fought a water tower in some lines of the story. <laughs> the lawless ones make their lair to the south inside a cave called Father Common's Chambers. <laughs> they took many vials of ink. I would be grateful if you could bring as many back as possible. <laughs> This is so profoundly not my jam. <laughs> <laughs> this is the big, this is just, this is just the fluff zone. Yeah, you're not a fan of wide lad here? <laughs> I like their design, but I'm just like, all right, I get it. I'm done now. Oh, uh, we get to, we get to ride a decent length. We'll get to see maybe some stuff. We get to go to, <laughs> uh, Wolkendorf. Oh, it's like, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, chat, I promise. Try to be a good sport of failing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just like, oh my god, this is off to such a great start. They tricked me. <laughs> uh, I mean, tension wise, aren't Alphano and Alize off like trying to deal with the encroaching Yule Morians? Like, there, there's a threat present. I want to be there. Oh, ooh, what's this cool dude? What, what are you? <laughs> what are, are, what are you? The poorest. Oh, he's uh he's from uh, uh Paldia. He's from the the dungeon with the uh, the Arnvold dungeon. He's the guy from the Arnvold dungeon. Oh, you're right. I forgot about that model. Oh, there's quite a few things. Oh, is this where our crazy bird is from with the light wings? I don't know. 
Father Collard's chamber is through here. I peered inside, and sure enough, it was m milling with new Mao. They looked none too friendly. If Thancred were here, he'd tell me to go about it quietly and quickly. Let us split up. I'll find all the ink I can and then come back outside. See you shortly, Tuna and Val. Shink. Hmm. And Philly is going to go stab somebody. I, uh, yeah, but I don't know. She doesn't seem like a, a rogue. I mean, it makes sense that Anchorage would teach her to be rogue. Yeah. Okay. Well, I went too far. That was my problem. You're closer to where you should, we should be. Today we learned Kyle hates piano, Garrett doesn't much care for mushroom land, yep. and 50% uh, of GG loves Animorphs. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, it's a talkie. Oh, uh, those new Mo were rather frightening. I'm glad you're safe. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> I see your daggers. <laughs> I kind of want to say that. Yeah, sure. Three, two, one, go. Because I do have questions. Like, she seems like a magic girl, not one to be using daggers, but Ancred probably taught her to hide. Thancred taught me, but I'm still a novice. The Minfilius before me battled Sin Eaters as part of the Yulmoran army. But that had all changed by the time I was found. They held me captive so that I wouldn't follow in the others' footsteps. I'd still be in my cell now had Thancred not spirited me away. When he found me, I knew nothing of the world. I didn't know how to live, let alone fight. Thancred once told me that if the efforts to summon you failed, it would fall to me to face the Light Wardens. I realized then that it was the only reason he kept me close, as a contingency. The truth is, he can't stand to be around me. Nah, that's not it. Because I'm not her. I'm not his Minfilia. Oh, maybe you are kind of into it. <laughs> I look like an idiot. <laughs> Once, we journeyed to Nabatharang together. Finally, despite my to the possession place where prevail. the Oracle appeared and stayed the flat. I win! As we drew near, I felt as though... I was fading away. I shut my eyes and covered my ears, and then... And then... Uh, I'm not sure what happened after that. Mm. So she's describing what she went through when... I have a vague Philia feeling that I said her. something yeah. to him. Only it wasn't me at all. It was her. Afterwards... Thancred didn't say a word, only kept to himself and brooded. There's nothing I can do for him, nothing I can offer but my presence, though it only reminds him of his loss. That's on him, not you. She should be the one to live on. That's why I tried to find you, because I knew that was what she wanted. But now that you're here, I'm not entirely sure what it was she intended me to do. Was I meant to tell you something, or bring you to someone, or somewhere? I can feel the answer at the edge of my mind, just out of reach. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, what? What is that? Uh. What the what? Oh, nice. Oh, is this the Fey boss? Yeah. Why? Why did you imprison us? Oh, that uh, the way the audio just dropped out. That was great. Such boredom. Such tedium have we suffered. It is unfair. Unfair. Hell yes. The zone just redeemed itself. <laughs> You're on a roller coaster. Come. Come.
Come and play with us. I can't wait to play. It oh, came from fantastic. the castle. I just want to overlay some Elden Ring font right there. <laughs> this is everything I have. Please see it delivered to the Numo. Oh, the ink. Okay. I will bear word to Thancred and the others. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about right now. Is the ink. Yeah, right. Get me to that castle. <laughs> Frick yeah. Hell yeah. Let's Getting go turn in our ink. Uh, yeah, we can, we can off teleport. to the, off to the oh, thing. We can teleport. Oh yeah, you're right. Go, 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 go. Did I beat you to it? Nope. Oh, we were in a cross world party. Oh, uh, we got cross worlded. Yeah. Yep. Mercy. Your Majesty, your Majesty, we have no choice. Please forget. Wait, who are you talking to? Oh, did we all get blasted? Oh, it's you, my, my ink. Were you able to retrieve it? Yes, think almost all of it, too. When our king <laughs> spoke to me, my day went from bad to worse. But thanks to you, it's simply bad again. <laughs> what? You had a vision, too? Oh, woe is us. Ordinarily, when a living being turns into a sin eater, it loses everything about its mind that defined it. However, the king has retained some of their instincts. This manifested in their desire to play and be free. So strong is that desire, it often leaks through the seal to invade our consciousness. For a long time we ignored it, but we can't do so forever. But forgive me. I was going to thank you for reuniting me with my ink. You did exactly as I asked. So I will give you the service I promised. Ahem. Nothing up my sleeve, and voila! Hey, May I serve you well. Is he a freaking magician? Oh, tickets. Hmm. Okay. D Bellboy in chat made me laugh by uh, saying that Garrett is the let me in meme right now. Let me in. I use that one a lot. Ah, there's nothing like honorable work. Thanks to you. Uh, thank again for you. have given me the opportunity. Oh, I should mention that Eldro Wide Anchor uh, returned a moment ago. If you seek him out, I dare say they'll have tidings for you. Where? Oh my goodness, there's so many quests all of a sudden. Yup. 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 Yeah, they want quests. <laughs> Grind out the faction. The faction. Become exalted. I Watch. don't think that that's not how it works. Your you character have to do the spin. Beast trap. No. I'm, I'm, yeah, this is the first guy. Here's a wide acne. Ah, there you are. I'm informed that you have been an excellent patron to our people. For that, you have my thanks. Now then, you'll be pleased to learn that we've come to a decision regarding the scepter. If you would gather your companions, I will deliver our answer. Before I begin, please allow me to express my gratitude for your kind patronage. Having been deprived of purpose for so long, our people are overjoyed being able to serve again. But on the matter of the scepter stone, the stone scepter. During our deliberations, we were forced to conceal that we have never had the power to deal with our fallen monarch. We can release Titiana. Uh, oh, I'm auto advancing. Uh, neither from the castle nor from our torment. In light of this, we have decided to entrust our fate to you. Take it. A stone stepper of New Maw. This makes three relics. One more and we can arrange a meeting with the warden. Ere you continue your quest, allow me to enlighten you as a regard your foe. Know that... Titania is not a name, but a title bestowed upon one chosen to lead the Pixies by grace of nature. This leader, a Monel founding, arose as ruler of all Feyfolk, 
to begin order to our rare rigorous kind. In our turn, we faithful render our blessing unto nature, unto water, wood, and wind, and our king might be further in power. Though you have become, oh, how I have become senator, huh? their power remains unchanged. When you face them, be prepared to face the full fury of nature. Oh dear. Is there anything else that we should know? Anything else? Hmm. Only that if you feel unready for the challenge, and none here would blame you for it, you are welcome to remain among us a while longer. After all, I myself have yet enjoyed your patronage, and who knows when I might get the chance next. We would see that you are comfortable, of course, and do all in our power to make you feel um, at home. <laughs> Oi! Honestly, I look away for a moment and every fairy in their nuncle tries to steal a sapling from me. Ah. This is my sapling, mine. Do you hear? Not yours and not the foie's. And anyone who so much as thinks about trying to deduce him will wish they hadn't. Mm. Save me from this mushroom land fail all. <laughs> or Andre will not. The final relic is a pair of shoes wrought of crystal. They are held in the Amaro's safekeeping at the settlement Wackeldorfel. <laughs> <laughs> it beareth mentioning that these Amaro are unlike those which thou hast heretofore encountered. Owing to peculiarity of evolution, they are capable of speech, and thus we might negotiate with them as we have the Fey folk. Though it saddens us to see you leave, I wish you well on your way. When you arrive in Morgendorf, seek out the largest of the Amaro. His name is Seto, Kaiba, and he is their leader <laughs> and bearer of the relic. <sighs> You're such a freaking dork, never change, Kyle. <laughs> Let me in! <laughs> All right. Well, before we go and get the shoes, I have to end it there. What? Our, our adventure shall continue another day. No! Yes! No! I'm afraid I must depart. No! Yes, it is true. No! I too wish to see the oh. castle with the cool lady, and we shall oh. do so Thursday. I, I have only one word to describe how I feel about this. Blue ballsy? Dog shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>